Hey guys, so I'm going to be doing a quick video, uh, a quick tip video. I think not many people on YouTube have actually covered. Uh, and this is a true multitasking tip for you guys, uh, tips and tricks. So I got the iPad Air, fourth generation right here, and it's running four apps at the same time. Technically four apps, uh, yeah, four windows at the same time. So for my workflow, I tend to have many screens, uh, on the same display so i have a good class of everything all the information uh, that's displayed so as compared to uh, what i have here this is a 32 inch monitor i have four windows running at the same time so i have a glance of everything that i need right here so similarly for the ipad uh, air fourth generation as you can see here i've got facebook running as a floating window um, so, oops, I just made a mistake. So anyway, okay, there we go. So what I did was, okay, let's start from the beginning, shall we? So this is picture in picture. It's actually running from a YouTube video that has been embedded in a um, website. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to recreate I'm going to recreate what I just did. All right. So in this case, I have two windows, two apps running at the same time. And so let's say if I go to a website that has a video embedded, in this case, it's a YouTube video. What you have to do is go on YouTube, put it on full screen. You see the PIP picture there, uh, icon, run that. And so it will always be in the background. You can minimize it. You can maximize it this is the max they can go but anyway this is not what i want to teach you guys what i want to show is how you can have four apps running at the same time so you find the app so i'm sure you guys know about split screen so as long as the website that's running the youtube video itself is still active your pip should remain in the foreground here so in this case i want to push the Chrome browser to my right side of the split. All right. So, so Safari on the left, Chrome on the right, PIP running in the foreground. Now I want to add the floating window as my fourth app. So what I can do is, uh, what I did was I just choose any app. Now this may or may not work. As you can see here, it doesn't change to the floating window, which becomes a rectangle shape. So just leave it back in there uh, or try Kindle. Now this does it, as you can see. So if it changes to this, it will take over the right side of the split screen. If it goes this side, it will take over the left side of the split screen. It has to be in this shape, all right? So what you can do now is, there you go. You can move things around. You can move this guy around. All right, this is actually a book, Star Wars book. Timely since the Mandalorian season two episode one just came out yesterday, so you can move this around freely and browse, have do your work and things like that. So it's pretty damn cool. I don't think many people have shown this feature on the iPad. I'm spe talking specifically about the Apple iPad. Could happen. You can use it for the iPad Pro, right? The other question I do tend to get is, can you run two videos at the same time? So let's say I stack the YouTube app on the floating window. And of course, you can switch between the apps by pressing this and just doing that. All right. You swap. So you can stack as many apps as you want. I am actually, I actually did stack a mail app. So I'm not going to show that because, you know, confidential and all that. So you can move this around. You can swap, you can actually dock the PIP as well, which is really neat, all right? So you can move it out of view, out of sight. All right, so let's bring it back in, just to, as an example. So you can see here, four apps running at the same time. And back to my question, can you run a PIP and a YouTube video at the same time? The answer is no, all right? Uh, that's just the way it is. Only one place at the same time. Now you have to take note that not all apps support split screen or floating 
view, split view or floating view, all right? For example, the Comixology app, it has to be the main screen, all right? It cannot go to split screen or uh, floating view. That's just unfortunate. But anyway, certain uh, browsers, certain websites actually, certain websites are optimized. Like for this example, this one is more of a, like what you see on the iPhone. It's just one screen. Whereas certain other websites, like this one, you get the whole desktop view. And that's pretty cool. So you just have to take note that uh, it may or may not be as an, an optimized form of viewing, but you know, the option is still there. All right, so that's pretty cool. Uh, anyway, hope you like the video. F hope you find this very useful for your uh, work, media consumption and things like that. I like to run music from the YouTube uh, app while I'm doing my work. So you can run split screen for Microsoft documents, uh, Microsoft Teams and all that. It all works, all right? But I can't show you that because it's got a lot of confidential information. I can't show a lot of work-related stuff. But anyway, this is what you can do. As you can see here, you can still scroll even though the apps, some of these apps are in the background, which is really, really cool. So you can take control of everything while it's still in the background. All right? So that's... Really, really cool. Yep. Hope you like the video. Subscribe, comment, follow me on IG at LKHOE23. Uh, if you like the video, please share it, comment, and all that good stuff. Okay, bye.